Hello husband and friends, welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new. My name is David and on today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top 10 houseplants of December. Now, I'm so happy this year is going to be over. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and like this is going to be the last video of this type of video of this year. Which is a little bit sad but at the same time it's like I'm so done of 2020. But I'm also really like thankful of all the things that have been like, you know, happening. Like as in like, I just started my YouTube channel in 2020 and like I would have, you know, I met so many amazing people and I just, the plant community was literally amazing and 2020 has really made the plant community like big, you know, like everybody has been quarantined and getting plants. It's all that good, fun and jazzy. So I'm not going to blabber too much because I know I blabber too much and then I got to cut it off in the beginning. It's just, it's too much. So also, <laughs> I don't got a video for today. This was supposed to be filmed too days ago but i do things at the very last minute and <laughs> so i'm literally filming it today and i'm gonna post it today but i gotta edit it today as well <laughs> so with any further ado let's get started now a lot of these plants are not in order um like you know like best to like least so you know all that jesse like i'm just gonna like pull them out as i see them so the first one now i know some people like are getting really annoyed at this plant because a lot of people are talking about it and i like give me my moment you know what i'm saying this is my village at birkins i am obsessed with this plant now a lot of people already have it and it was really like it was like so trendy you know like really 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 trendy and it went so downhill um, from what I see on my feed, but it's so stunning and I'm really happy that oh Sorry, I'm like moving the camera. Um, I'm really happy that Lowe's is starting to sell these girlies for $17.98 Which is literally amazing because this is the one that I got It's on a oh hold on. I think it's on a six inch pot I'm pretty sure it's a six inch pot for $17.98, which is not a bad price. And the one that I got before I got this one, before Lowe's was selling these, and I did not know the Costa Farms was selling Philadelphia <laughs> Birkins. Like, it would be great if I told that as well. I mean, I'm saying. Um, where I, th I think it was on the. I don't know, I'm dumb. But I ended up buying another one online with Bros with Hose. It was like an unboxing video. It was really, really great. It's also where I got. um. Uh, my other beautiful plant, my white Calathea fusion, white fusion Calathea, that would be, you know, in this video as well. I ended up getting a Fletcher Birkins from that website, and, um, <laughs> I paid so much for it, and shipping was not free, you know what I'm saying? It was really expensive, but I got two now, so, like, I'm not really mad at it. They're amazing, they're beautiful, and I love, 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 like, just the leaves, like, isn't it so pretty? And the reason why it's on the list is because I love variegated plants you know what i'm saying and this is like really like beautiful and i love philodendrons <laughs> like philodendrons are literally my favorite like i just love them so much like they're amazing um so yeah and also she's doing really good so let me give you guys a quick little overview on how she looks so look at this leaf you see this she's so pretty and she's putting out another leaf Ooh, hello she's putting out another leaf <laughs> do you see it and uh there's a lot of babies like on the bottom i'm already propagating there's another leaf coming in do y'all see it look Oh, it's, <laughs> there's one over here and there's another one right over here. Ah, it's so fun. Uh, but yes, I ended up, I guess you call it division. There was a little baby. I plucked it out <laughs> and I put it in a cute little pot and it's in the greenhouse right now. And it's not wilting, which means I think it's going to like root. It had like a little bit of roots and I'm just so excited. Ah, I'm going to have three for the Birkins. I just love plants. Like they're making me so happy. Okay, I'm done. Next plant. <laughs> My next one is literally the one that I was talking about. White Fusion Calathea. It's another one of those trending plants that it was so big and now people don't really care about this plant anymore. I don't know why. Like I used to see it always on my feed and now I don't know. Like I, <laughs> I'm, am I complaining? I'm sorry if I'm complaining. I'm not trying to be mean. Um, like it's cause like I used to love seeing it on my timeline, but now I don't see them anymore. But it's, she's so pretty. Like, oh my God. I just love her so much. There is one leaf that's having a little bit of problems, but it is one of the first leaves from the plants, you know, the oldest leaf, so that's normal. They're curling, I don't know. Once the leaves start turning crispy or like, you know, not so pretty, um, one, I'm gonna panic, and then two, I'm gonna put it in the greenhouse. Cause I know she would be a lot happier in the greenhouse cause it's very humid and I'm really close to the camera. And it's it's just perfect environment for Calathea. Like my plants are doing amazing. I will be doing, if you guys want me to, a greenhouse plant tour, house plant tour. If you guys wanna see that, let me know. Cause I really wanna show all the cuttings that I'm like propagating and like other plants that are in there. Like they're doing amazing. Consider the fact that it's fall, like what? But yes, <laughs> she is so pretty. Like, ah, it just makes me so happy looking at it. And the reason why it's on the list is because um, 
I love Caletias. <laughs> and I love Variegated Plants. So, and she's doing really, really great. Like she, I heard a lot of stories about this plant being very fussy, but from personal experience, from me having it for like a month, <laughs> It's not really that fussy. I'm crossing my fingers. I hope it's not gonna get fussy now. <laughs> like, it's been really easy to look after it. Uh, but yet again, my room is really humid. So I think it's that. And also I always make sure the soil is moist. Um, but uh, I just love it. And like, funny story. It's not really a story. But I used to call this white color diffusion. It is not called va. It's called white fusion Caledia. So I learn something every day. And I sounded so dumb when I was unboxing it. But you know what? what's new on my channel okay next the next one is a collective obifolia now i forgot who i got this plant from i think it's literally <gasps> wait what okay hold on i think i got this plant also oh no i got this on my local nursery rainbow gardens um i'm gonna give them like a little bit of a shout out because they're really nice as in they don't look at me like a psychopath when i'm filming you know what i'm saying <laughs> a lot of other nurseries they look at me and like they're laughing at me but they're the only ones that are really nice okay and <laughs> this is so pretty I like I love her so much. Like uh, it makes me so happy. It's for eight ninety nine, and I will be start. I will be inserting some pictures, like over here. You know what I'm saying? These are the reason why I like it is because they're so they get so big, and these people as you are seeing, they literally maintain their Kalita Sobifolias happy, and they're growing amazing. Which by the way, thank you so much for the people like responding to my DMs and like allowing me to like show you guys these screenshots. You guys can go and follow them. This one is really pretty. Like I just. I don't know. It's just, it's so pretty. And like, I'm seeing a lot of like pictures. A lot of this is about Instagram. Yeah, I'm always on Instagram and like, I get inspired by a lot of people. And it's just, I just love that place. And, <laughs> but a lot of people are posting these and they're so big and lush and beautiful. And I'm crossing my fingers that I can get her to be that happy that she will get that big because I had one before. That I bought from, oh, oh my God, excuse me. That I bought from plantarena.com and it died. So. Yeah, but I'm not getting. I'm not giving out. I'm gonna try again, and she makes me so happy. Like this lip is really big. You know what I'm saying? You know, well, it's really small compared to the other ones. But she's really nice, and she has two new leaves coming in. You see that? Ah! And then here's another one. It's better. It's better. It's better. Here's the other one. You guys cannot see it. It's okay. Ah! It's <laughs> Plants make me happy, y'all. Okay. Next plant is the Rosy Collectia that I also got from Rainbow Gardens. Hey. By the way, they had I got these plants one in Black Friday. They had a sale, and it, <laughs> I think it was fifty percent off all house plants. No, twenty five percent. I'm pretty sure, or thirty five. I'm not that sure. And I, I went, and I was like, oh my god, boo, like let's go, and let me get some plants that I always wanted, but they were a little bit expensive. And uh, this is my rosy collective that I got also for eight ninety nine at that local nursery, Rainbow Gardens, and it's just so cool. When I got her, this was the only best one. They had a lot of other ones, and they were not looking so hot. Um. Now they do so good, you know, good plants, but they were so picked out and this was the only best one that I saw. This leaf was really bad, so I ended up cutting it off and this leaf is also not looking so good, but it's still, it's not turning yellow. So it means that it's working, I'm guessing. Like I'm not gonna cut off the leaf if it's, you know, helping the plants still, but uh, just pretty. And the reason why it's on the list is because one, this like new leaf coming out, it's like so uh, crazy. Like she's so big, like she's making a big statement. <laughs> And the other reason why is because like hot pink. Is this pink or is it purple? I think it's hot pink. Oh my god, is it pink or purple? It's purple. I need, I need to go back to first grade. I don't even know my colors. I think it's purple. Well, this color, purple or pink, color which you want. Because in the camera it looks purple, but in person it looks pink. Lord have mercy. And the black, like the two combinations are so stunning. And like, I really wish I can get this plant to my cousin. Like, I will buy her another one because it's my baby. I'll buy her another one and give it to her, but it's a Calatia. And Calatias, you know, they're not really great beginner plants. Um, not saying that you shouldn't get one if you're a beginner, but they're a little bit hard to look after, uh, especially if you don't, you know, give her the, the right requirements. Like they don't not like tap water, some are very fussy and high humidity. They're just very like, you know, divas. We all know the Calatia divas. And, but I would love to give this to her because like, it's her favorite color. It's a black and like hot pink or purple, but it's just it's crazy like there is no green I'm pretty sure no there is a little bit of green, but it's just it's impressive to me Like how can this plant be like this? It, 
<laughs> I don't know. I guess because I'm so used to like uh, at least a li like all variegated plants having a little bit of green. This one like doesn't have any from what I'm seeing, and that's just really cool. I just love its leaves. I love calatheas. Um, I just love her. She's just that girl. <laughs> Alright, the next one is on the back. And by the way, I know I'm wearing like a Halloween shirt and Halloween's not here anymore, but it's really comfortable and I'm going to be cozy, okay? Um, <laughs> it's this one, I have to be really careful because there's times when I like, you know, get her, I pick her up a little bit aggressively and then like the new growth just falls off. So it's a very delicate plant. Well, this girl is a little bit delicate, just like me. But uh, like just by itself, y'all, it's so pretty. Like, what? And the reason why it's on the list is one, because like, I struggle a little bit with begonias and this is the only begonia that has been like the easiest for me to look after. I haven't really had any problems with this girl, like at all. I had it for like the longest period of time already. I think going to be like seven months or eight months and she is really easy to look after. Like I'm, I'm just so happy for her and uh, beautiful. Now there's a little bit of crispy, you know what I'm saying? But it's, just, it's pretty, she is stunning and she's putting out a lot of new leaves. Look at this, like isn't that pretty? And also cause I just love the dots, like those silvery dots. I just, there's times when I'm just like staring at them and I'm just like, Lord, like how is this possible? Like it's just, they're so, like they're so perfect. And it's like somebody got like a little, like, you know, a sponge ball or whatever you want to call it. And we're just like, like dotting on the leaves. That is like insane. I'm sorry if I sound so dumb. Like I, I'm just very, I get impressed by like the smallest things. <laughs> And this girl just makes me so happy. That's just so pretty. Like, oh my god. <sighs> so she's on the list and I love her so much. And I, it seems like she loves me too. But I just drink that, so she might, you know, start turning yellow. I don't know. But she's really, really pretty. And if you don't have one, I highly recommend you to get one. But yet again, everybody like you know wants one, so yeah. Let me look what's next. The next one is stuff featuring my kids. This girly, let me tell you something about this girly. I got her from also Rainbow Gardens. Like they've been having some girl plants, okay? And <laughs> uh, it was on a really small pot, like in a 2.5 inch pot. And I paid $8 for it. And it was only like three or four leaves. But literally since the growing season, it has grown so much and there was more. But I have propagated this plant like three times already and like three pots and each pot had like mm, like three up to like six nodes and one was gifted to somebody that I, she came in and she was super sweet and i was like you know what girl just take it like i just if i get like good advice from you and like i was gonna sell you a plant i'll just give it to you like i i it's a plant you can propagate plants you know what i'm saying and the other one i didn't end up selling because you know that greenhouse could put me a little bit on depth <laughs> so i'm trying to pay it off and there is a little bit of, you know, sad looking leaves, but yet again, these are the oldest leaves and it has grown a lot. Um, by the way, I, it wasn't a two five inch pot. I guess I ended up repotting it in one of these pots from the, you know, the succulent ponds from like Lowe's. I don't even know what, what pot was this one, but Echeveria Neon Breaker. I don't even know if I have that plant. A lot of my uh, succulents and cactuses, I ended up placing them outside because I felt bad for them. And I don't know, for me, like, <sighs> There's times when I want this, oh my god, my hair. <laughs> There's times when like, I just look at my plants and I want them to be happy. Like I love them to being inside. They make me so happy. But as soon as I see like a little bit of like discoloration or like yellow leaves or this or that, it's normal, I know that. But I want to put them outside if I know they want to be happy outside. I don't know. I just like, if I see them sad and I know like being, putting them outside is going to make them happy, I would just put them outside because I want them to be happy. Um, it makes that makes no sense. Their house plants is you know they can be inside, but if my babies want to be outside, they're gonna be outside. Okay, um, <laughs> but this one is so pretty. She has grown a lot. She has it has paid off already, and I've also sold some cuttings just by cuttings. So this plant's really amazing. I love the velvety leaves, and I ended up watching Plammy Ashley's new video, which by the way she's an amazing YouTuber. She's super sweet, like literally the sweetest YouTuber out there, and. She on one of her wish lists on her newest video on her 2021 wish list. My hair is falling off. <laughs> she ended up like in her list. It's a variegated filigrant micans. I might be wrong because I'm like I said I'm dumb, but I'm pretty sure it was that, and I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, 
but now I want one so bad. It's gonna be impossible to get one, but like, oh my god, when I saw that, I was like, I'm already like obsessed and drilling over <laughs> this plant. <laughs> and now there's a variegated one, like, you know me, I love variegated plants. Everybody loves variegated plants. What well, some people don't. But she's on the list. Oh my god, it's getting so long. <laughs> she's on the list because, like, she's so pretty and I love her velvety leaves. A really easy plant to propagate, which I do not understand. And also, she ended up stating this as well. Plants that are easy to propagate, they tend to also still be expensive. It's like, that makes sense. You expect, like, the plants that are harder to propagate be more expensive because, you know, they're harder to, like, divide or, like, make more of. So, you know, to be more expensive, like, more exclusive, you know what I'm saying? Like, hard to do. But this is an easy plant to propagate, but it's expensive. I just, I don't... But when I was selling mine, I, you know, I can't really put it that cheap. Unless I get a good buy from you, then I'll just give it to you or, like, give it, like, a good price. But... You know what I'm saying? Like, if I make it really, really cheap, someone's gonna take advantage of me and, like, buy it really cheap and then sell it for, like, three times the price than what I'm selling it. So, yes, but she is an amazing, beautiful plant. And she... I just... I still don't want to take this off. I love the way it looks. It's like... Doesn't it... Ah! Like, you guys cannot see it on the camera, but it still has, like, that velvet effect. A little bit of it. It just looks so cool. Like, I'm gonna just leave that. Okay, next, okay, I'm gonna start going a little bit faster considering the fact that I'm making this video way longer than it was supposed to be. Free telling you, not before you click off. <laughs> this girl, the reason why she's on the list is because, like, one well, number one, she is like an amazing low light plant. She's an amazing beginner plant that anybody can have, and I'm all about, like, yes. Hard to find plants and rare plants and trending plants are amazing and I, I love them a lot too. But I also equally love the basic plants that you always in the big box stores. Because that's how people begin the plant hobby. Like, you know, their plant obsession. And this is one that I love for because a lot of my family members are starting to join the plant community. Like, they're starting to get into plants. And it's so much fun, like, recommending, like, plants that are easy to look after. Like, the snake plant. We all know the snake plant is the easiest. The spider plant, like, right at the corner, right there. And the petonia. And the reason why the petonia is great in on the list is because it was so easy to propagate this like it's already easy to look after and the fact that it's even easier to propagate in very fast like this is just amazing and like i might just like this is my new my new plant that i'm also recommending to my, uh, my my family members or friends that want to get into plants it's already an easy plant to look after and the fact that it's an easier plant to propagate and we all know that propagating is the most satisfying thing to do and so much fun to do and it just gives you like that burst of dopamine in your head like wow i succeeded on something and i made a new free plant and that just sparks even more on like into like the hobby and if this is an easy plant to propagate like yeah like this is just an amazing plant and I'm just so happy for her, you know, she's doing great, and uh, <laughs> the way I'm just like showing the plants, I just, I love her. Okay, next plant, the string of hearts. Now, oh my god, this video is getting so long, I'm so sorry, I don't like making the video so long because I'm not like, nobody wants to see that long video, I don't know. Okay, so this is the string of hearts, and the reason why it's a little bit special for me is because I ended up propagating this one by the butterfly method. I've done so many videos on how to pop <laughs> what how to propagate string of hearts with the butterfly method and let me show you the mother plant do you see the thing in the window like oh espérate, espérate. that and then that that's the mother plant and i got that girly from plantarena.com hey <laughs> and it was really affordable because she was she had it for a sale i think i got it for 35 dollars and it was free shipping and she has grown and now this girly is starting to like trail i literally did it by cut what the hell's on the floor okay i literally did it by like cuttings like that that's basically the butterfly method you cut over here and these are scissors just imagine scissors you cut over here as well and then you just literally pop this in moss i recommend moss or spying the moss anything that absorbs like moisture but it's like you know like the moss type of thing and it was just root it's amazing and i have it at the greenhouse and since i placed it in the greenhouse she is growing even more faster i'm guessing because of high humidity and just the warm like it's just warm inside and it's very bright and direct light so i'm just so happy and i love her so much and i love propagating plants and the fact that i just made my new plant and she's even a bigger size ah i'm just so excited <laughs> okay two more just two more and the number eight, wait, nine. Okay, this is a ninth plant, and this is a Colletta medallion. The reason why she's on the list, oh my God, is the lighting changing? Oh no, girl, like, I need, I need good lighting. Stop it. <laughs> this is a Colletta medallion, and the reason why she's on the list is because her and I, 
We hated each other from the beginning. Like I was doing everything to make her happy and she was not being grateful. She took me for granted. And all of a sudden we just ended up clicking and now we're like the best of friends. You know, like now we love each other a lot. She's doing amazing as you guys can see. Putting all these beautiful and nearly like like like, like, like. Ah! And then look at this one. <laughs> and there's another one like popping like on the floor, like over here. So she's really happy and I'm happy. Uh but yeah, so we used to hate each other, but now we're like we're best friends. And the last plant is also another plant that we hated each other. By the way, this is called the Golden Mosaic Claytia. Don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure it's a golden mosaic. Hold on, I can still the name's just like right there. Golden Mosaic, yeah, Golden Mosaic Claytia. And this is this pot by itself this is not how i bought it i ended up buying some really big ones for a really cheap price and then i googled it and this, they're kind of hard to find and they're really expensive and i found it for one more on like any gallon pot for like 15 dollars so i got it she was pretty it's really really big i have it in the greenhouse but she was losing a lot of leaves and she one thing that i noticed about her she does not like to dry out at all she hates drying out and she hates tap water and she hates direct light <laughs> so she's like you know one of those diva divas um but I ended up propagating this one. This is often propagations. It's, it has two plants and the pot. And there is some like that I need to like give it a good cleanup. Um, but, and it's kind of satisfying to put on on still in there. But when it's like been there for a while, it's like so easy to like, it's satisfying to pluck it out. Anywho, this one's really easy to propagate. It's, we just became best friends. Yeah, and I just, I love the leaves. Like, isn't that so cool? And they get bigger. They get bigger and that's just so much fun. Like the pattern already is just breathtaking for me personally. And the fact that it gets bigger, like that's just like a bigger statement. I just, I love her so much. Okay. Alrighty guys, so those are all the top 10 house plants of December. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you like this type of videos, you can consider subscribing cause like we do a lot of type of videos and we do a lot of plant shopping. A lot of it. But yes, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.